welcome in this video i'll be discussing about effect of microwave on human body so this is a very important topic to know also those who are using mobile then uh, it becomes very important that you should know what is the effect of microwave in human body or on human body because the mobile you are using it is working on the microwave frequency simple right so let us see what is it so you can see this image here so these two images are here what are these two images first let me explain this then we'll go to the theories so this is a microwave cell phone effects okay absorption in a brain according to age that means you see first of all you see the red area is there so it is the affected area of our brain when it is exposed to microwave okay microwave signals that is used in the mobile now you can see a five year old uh, child is there then the brain is very heavily affected a 10 year old is there brain is little bit affected and a adult is there then brain is uh, small affected okay so now these are based on a limited time of uh, 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 radiation exposure if more time is there then the effect will increase now this second thing is that thermal effects so this is the radiation effect and this is the thermal effect so heat generated on the face by 15 minute of cell phone use due to their electromagnetic radiation so it is a simulation says so it is before using the mobile what is the heat map of the face and after using the mobile what is the heat map on the face see almost all the uh, face is covered with heat heat is generated there then we will come to know that what happens because of the heat okay so now you uh, now you are clear that because of the microwave radiation or because of use of the mobile it affects the human body so okay this is the proof of that now effect of microwave on human body what it does so electromagnetic radiation or em wave is in the range of 1 millimeter to 1 meter or 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz okay so if any frequency is there between 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz then it is referred as microwave radiation so this is a short question also what is the short question what is the microwave radiation frequency range microwave frequency range is a separate concept and microwave radiation is a separate concept so within this range it is called as the microwave radiation so within the microwave radiation range radio frequency okay which is 0 0.5 megahertz to 300 gigahertz is considered as the context of adverse biological effect okay the radio frequency from 0 0.5 megahertz to 300 gigahertz is considered as your sorry this is uh, 0 0.5 gigahertz okay so 0 0.5 gigahertz to 300 giga is considered as the context of adverse biological effect that means in this frequency range biological effect can happen in the human body okay now let us see before going to the effect we need to know something called about ionizing and non-ionizing effect after that we will come to know what happens in that so ionization is a process in which electrons can come out of molecules and can cause molecular changes that can damage the biological tissue including the effects on the dna okay so you might be knowing that uh, in the attack of uh, japan hiroshima nagasaki america put bomb there so after that so many generations uh, uh, their health was not good and uh, they have polio and all the things so why that happened because of the radiation that came out from the atomic bombs that changed the dna structure and that is why the dna when genetic material is changed then the generations will come with disability so that is what happened there this is the effect of radiation effect of ionization okay now x-ray and gamma ray are examples of ionizing radiations uh, now you might be thinking that uh, people generally go for x-ray when fracture is there but that is a control thing so x-ray is not always advisable when it is not required but because it can affect the human body and gamma ray is basically used for cancer treatment okay so what it does it directly kills the cancer cells means it is just uh, uh, it causes the molecular change in the cancer cell and kills that so that gamma ray gamma ray is a ionizing radiation to which human body is exposed during different medical procedure okay it is ionizing and it is damaging also but in a controlled manner it is used long exposure can damage so many of things 
However, the energy levels of RF radiation is not sufficient enough to ionize the molecules. Okay, so it is a good thing is there. What is that? The energy level of RF radiation. So this X-ray and gamma ray comes after the microwave radiation, after the uh, light wave radiation. Okay. <coughs> So, this RF radiation is not sufficient to enough uh, is not sufficient enough to ionize the molecules and consider as non ionized radiation. So, these are not no these are non ionizing radiation. So, there is a question what do you mean by ionizing radiation? What is non ionizing radiation? So, this is the answer to non ionizing radiation and this is answer to ionizing radiation. Okay. And what is the example? So, microwave energy is non ionizing and gamma ray and X ray are the ionizing. These are the examples. So, despite of non ionizing radiations, even if there is no non ionizing radiation, it is a good thing, but microwave radiation is effective in heating the molecules. Though it cannot do any molecular changes like here, but it can create heating in the molecules and hence damaging effect of microwave radiation is majorly related to heating it is not related to this molecular change okay we'll see that what happens when uh, heating happens then rf radiation can enter the deep in the human body and can heat up different internal organs so when you are using your mobile near your phone then the microwave radiation can go several layer inside the skin it can reach the brain also and it can heat the molecule in the brain uh, okay. After heating what happens? You will have headaches and all those things comes. So, prolonged means a long time exposure to that time of heating, these organs can cause long term damages. Okay. So, that is why it is told that do not use your mobile more than 10 minute uh, for your safety for talking uh, to someone. Just do not uh, use it for more than 10 minutes holding near the phone, but you can use the earphones and keep the mobile uh, far away. Okay. So, next point is effect of temperature rise uh, because of RF radiation. So, what happens when the temperature is increased? So, thermoregulation is a process, thermoregulation is a process that allows your body to maintain its core internal temperature. Okay? So, in our body there is an internal mechanism that because uh, through the blood flow process it controls the temperature of the body. So, wherever whatever temperature is required it controls that. And all the thermoregulation mechanisms are designed to return your body to homeostasis. What does that mean? Homeostasis that means it is designed to make your body equilibrium temperature. Everywhere it should be the same temperature, means uh, this is a state of equilibrium. The blood vessels are dilating and the blood flow increases substantially as the thermoregulatory mechanism gets activated to keep the body temperature constant. What happens if due to the RF radiation, your uh, face is getting heated, then the blood vessels are dilating and blood flow increases there. So, the, your heart has to pump more blood to that area to maintain the uh, equilibrium. Okay? So, in this case what happens with rising body temperature, metabolic rate rises which may lead to stress, adoption, fatigue, syndromes, headaches and all those symptoms will come into picture. So, this is the effect of temperature rise on the body due to the RF radiation. Okay? So, this is uh, the effect of RF radiation on human body. Next, we will see effect of uh, radiation at different frequency level what happens. So, above 10 gigahertz range that is the wavelength uh, where it is uh, less than equals to 3, 3 centimeter means the wavelength is smaller than 3 centimeter. Okay? You can consider how small it is. Then heating occurs mainly in the outer skin surface from 3 gigahertz to 10 gigahertz the penetration is deeper and heating is higher and your nowadays 5G, 4G are used above 3 gigahertz or in this 3 gigahertz region. Okay? Next from 150 megahertz to 1 gigahertz below that penetration is even deeper and because of the high absorption deep body heating can occur. Okay? Next is any part of the body that can dissipate the heat efficiently or it is heat sensitive may damage by microwave radiation or radiation of sufficient power. Okay? Your mobile actually does not have sufficient power to do this kind of effect, but if the less power is also used for longer time, then effectively high power is exposed to the uh, microwave radiation. Okay? So, that is how it is affecting the bodies. So, this is the answer how at different frequency level human body is affected. 
okay next is measurement of radiation how it is measured generally if you buy any mobile then you will see this information is given on the back side of the mobile or cover of the mobile or you can also type star has zero star has zero seven has in mobile to get this information okay in india the sad limit is 1.6 watt kg and uh, of your mobile it is 1.26 kg every mobile it will change but it should be below 1.6 watt kg now what is this sar value so sar is a measure which is called a specific absorption ratio okay so what it is it is the energy which is absorbed in unit mass of the body or volume of the body per unit time okay if it is exposed for one minute then how much energy is absorbed by the human body so this is the measurement this is the sar value okay so what it says 1.6 watt per kg that means for 1 kg of human body if it is taken then 1.6 watt of power is absorbed by the body now it is for how much time so it is for 6 minutes so this is a standard generally it is considered that people use the mobile for talking over 5 to 6 minutes so 6 minute is made a standard if a mobile is used for 6 minutes near the body then the absorbs energy absorbed by the body should not be greater than 1.6 watt that is what the concept is so power density is the energy absorbed by the uh, energy absorbed per unit area per unit time and hence high power devices can cause adverse effect on human body then that means if your mobile has a very lower sar value then it is very good if it is higher sar value then it is harmful and also this measures are only for 6 minute it is not measured for 10 minutes so that doesn't mean that you can use it if sar value is low then you can use for 10 minute it's not like that so you can you should maximum use it for 6 minute which is the safest and it is set by the indian government this value is different in other countries also okay so this much from this video and uh, this completes uh, your uh, complete unit 1 as well and in the next part we will be starting with the uh, S parameter and the microwave networks. So thank you. Uh, please see the next videos.